Hey guys, it's Robin, and here are some quirky and nerdy gift ideas for the holidays. I know how hard it is when you're strapped for cash or just don't have time to go shopping in the middle of studying for finals, so I figured I would give you some ideas, and then you can give them to people. Well, the presents, not the ideas. For your favorite Whovian, might I recommend that you bake them brownies and then put them inside of a shoebox that you decorate to look like a TARDIS. Then you can leave them a note on either regular or psychic paper instructing them to eat the brownies while watching the Doctor Who Christmas special. For the boy you have a crush on, you can give him a book, either loan him one that you've been discussing or buy him something you think he would like, and put a bookmark inside with a link to a Spotify playlist that you've made for him. It's like the modern equivalent of giving a boy a mixtape. For your favorite nerd fighter, how about a gift card to DFTBA Records? They have online gift cards that you can fill out for any amount to gift to people electronically, and then your friend can pick out their favorite John Green Quotes poster, or CD, or t-shirt, or might I recommend this super cool ampersand necklace designed by YouTuber Karen Cabot that they just started selling on DFTBA as well. For your favorite vlogger, might I recommend a wireless shutter remote. They have these on Amazon for about $5 for every brand of camera out there, and I use this with my DSLR when I am vlogging so that I can remotely, at the push of a button, focus, hit record, and stop recording. Super useful. For a manic pixie dream girl, any of the following DVDs. Amelie, The Goonies, anything by Wes Anderson, I recommend The Royal Tenenbaums, Rushmore, and Moonrise Kingdom or the first season of Girls, which just came out on DVD. You can also give a Manic Pixie Dream Girl any sort of vintage camera bag that you pick up at a flea market or a thrift store, or a new Moleskine notebook inside of a cute tote bag from your local independent bookseller. For your favorite makeup maven, design them their own custom nail polish. You can look up tutorials on YouTube, and I'm going to put some links in the down bar to YouTube videos and blog posts that teach you how to do this. But it's super easy, you just need pretty much a cheap clear nail polish and some glitter. And you can mix up a custom glitter top coat for your friend and then on the bottom write a little uh, note naming it after them. For your mom or older sister, why not give them a one-time subscription to Birchbox? It's only $10 and what Birchbox is is it sends you a box of samples, beauty and skincare products in the mail every month. And so your mom or sister can fill out a profile online, like taking a quiz of their beauty profile, and then they will be sent a custom box of samples. I'm also putting a link for that in the down bar. For your friend the fashionista, you can go to a thrift store or a flea market and find some really cute vintage silk scarves or vintage belts that she can use to accessorize her already adorable wardrobe. For your dad, a monthly subscription to Netflix or Hulu, or an upgraded subscription to what he has already are always fun ideas. And I know that for my dad, helping him download and find some really cool apps for his phone and setting it up for him and showing him how to use it will probably be the best holiday gift for him ever. If you're really broke, you can always give someone a list of cool things on the internet that they should check out that they can get for free. Um, you can write them an email with your favorite podcast that they might not have discovered, like Nerdist, um, their webcomics that they might not know about, XKCD, The Oatmeal, or even really more obscure things, and YouTube channels like, I don't know, this one, or Bad Lip Reading, Zay Frank, things like that. You could also write down a list of things for them to check out on the internet in your best calligraphy and put it into a box with the instructions for them not to open except in cases of extreme procrastination. And for your favorite bookworm, here are some book suggestions. My first is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This is the coolest book series. Douglas Adams, when he wrote this, was sort of auditioning to write for Doctor Who, and you can totally tell. It's about the end of the world, and it's hilarious, and don't forget a towel. Oh, you can also just give somebody this book with a towel. That would be super clever. For your friends who like Downton Abbey, might I recommend Connie Willis's To Say Nothing of the Dog, which is a hilarious book about the Department of Time Travel at Oxford and a student who goes back in time to the Victorian era to recover something called the Bishop's Bird Stump. It is really fun. It's sort of if Doctor Who and Downton Abbey mashed together into one book. For your friends who have more highbrow literary taste, might I recommend 
The Secret History by Donna Tartt. This book tells the tale of a group of pretentious uh, classic students at a New England liberal arts college with a deep dark secret and it is such gorgeous prose that reading it makes me want to be a better writer. For your friend obsessed with Sherlock Holmes, The Beekeeper's Apprentice by Laurie King. This book follows the adventures of a young American feminist girl who stumbles across a retired Sherlock Holmes on the Sussex Downs in the 1920s and becomes his apprentice. So it's 1920s Oxford Sherlock Holmes and a super kick-ass female heroine. And for a reader of the classics, might I recommend Theophilus North by Thornton Wilder, which is possibly my all-time favorite book and is set during Prohibition era 1920s in Newport, Rhode Island and features a school teacher who tutors the wealthy inhabitants, falls in with the servant class, and also meddles in the affairs of both. Alright, those are my recommendations for holiday gifts. If you have any other recommendations for gifts that you think are cool, be sure to leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching day four of A Very Beauty Guru Hanukkah. Bye!